you can't even see where these where it repeats starts repeating again because of that the way we set the height up so I can go ahead and paste that a few more times and we'll reload it and you can't even see where it repeats but is it at this stage I'm gonna I want to go ahead and add my um, background my repeating background because that's one of my favorite parts of doing a textured background like that is how it just you can't even tell that the this in the background weren't lined up manually that it just morphs together so I'll go ahead and show you that I'm gonna go ahead and choose or undo my flatten and make sure you save after you undo that because I have created an entire template and I really like that template but I flattened it and when I flattened it I lost it and I was so mad at myself for doing that so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this main content that way I have more area to copy so I'm just gonna copy a good portion of this you don't want it too small because then you'll be able to tell that it repeats but this size should be perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and save this for the web and save it as body BG and we'll save this and I'm gonna go ahead and undo it save it again and now if we go back over to TextMate into our style.css in the background or in the body we'll add a background URL for images body dash BG and dot JPG and we don't have to add anything because it by default it's gonna repeat horizontally and vertically and you'll notice that it just filled in and you can't even tell that those things don't match so now if I resize the browser if you watch like right there you'll notice that you can kind of see not really but you, I can see right here that the it's kind of standing still but then once I stop moving it just blends in it's so cool but okay so now we have our or if I make it browser smaller watch right there when I move it left and right you'll notice that it just kind of moves but as soon as I stop it fits perfectly okay so I'm gonna go ahead and make our footer for this page so back into Photoshop remake that visible I'm going to drag two more lines one near the bottom below that shadow and, and one just above where it stops um, curving take my crop tool and I'm just going to select all of this and crop that out oh my content messed up again I'm gonna to have to flatten this image again which isn't a big deal so we flatten it and we'll go ahead and crop this out and we'll save this for web and devices as footer.jpg so we'll save that we'll undo it save it again now let's go ahead and create our footer area so we'll come below this add div id equals footer and we don't have to add any content to it yet just go ahead and finish that off and the neat thing about a div if you don't already know this is like the whole width for this is 635 pixels well when it, if I when I added that footer div it automatically stretched out to 635 pixels in width so all I have to do is add a height element to that in a background image and it will automatically fit perfectly so we'll come below this UL nav an idea of footer and now we just need to get the width for or the height of that footer image so we'll come over here command I and we'll look it is 40 pixels tall so we'll just set height to 40 pixels and that's it or our background URL images footer.jpg and Safari reload the page and you can notice that our footer has fit perfectly and I'm just going to add the quick copyright that you see on most websites into that real quick so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add text align to the center of this no text align center and so my text appears perfectly centered in this I'm going to set the line height 
240 pixels. And that's just an easy way to get the height to match or sit perfectly vertical, um, centered vertically in an element. So right here, I'm just going to add my copy symbol. So and signed copy. Um, Scooby Dooby Doo tutorials. Dash all rights reserved. Perfectly. I mean, perfect. So we'll reload this. And oh, I forgot that the shadow was there. So that didn't really work for me. I'm going to have to change. What happens if I just remove that? That normally works when you don't have an element like that right there. Force quit, reload this. And that sits pretty well. That's perfect. But I don't like the text being so close to each other, so I'm going to add a little bit of padding to that. And so padding top about 15 pixels. That should be good. So we'll reload that. And as you can see, we have a problem the background tried to repeat. So to fix that, I'm just going to go back into TextMate and under write this, add no repeat. And now we reload this page and it's still trying to repeat for some reason. I thought I saved it. Hmm, that's odd. Well, what if happens if I add margin top to it? That might fix it. Perfect. So now we've added a little bit of space between it. And now I'm pretty much just done with my Photoshop document. I already have my header. I have my content, my tabs. I have my content area. And I have my this footer area. Now we're just going to go ahead and get the whole thing fixed and set up. Um, I think... Let's go ahead and get uh, undo this. And I'm going to get the width of my content area. So just come over here and press V and choose your main content. Just, and click the center icon if you can't see that. Make sure that's checked. Click on it and oh, I can't see my width. Ooh. I was hoping I'd be able to find the width of my element. Well, I'll. Hmm. Normally, there's a really easy way to get the width of your element. If you manually set this width to like 900 pixels by doing that and setting the width to 900, then all you have to do is say, well, the, never mind, it's pretty easy normally. It's not easy in this case. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play the guessing game. And come over here underneath this nav, add some space, and add div content. You know what? That actually needs to go in the page wrap area because it's part of the page wrap. So div content and we'll just say padding from the top zero pixels from the right no yeah the right side we'll just say about ten pixels from the bottom zero pixels and from the left maybe fifteen pixels. And if you're not familiar with the shorthand for padding, it's just clockwise. So top, right, left, bottom, left, okay? So the padding to the top is zero, padding to the bottom is zero, padding to the top left, right is 10, left is 15. So we reload this page, and you know what? I forgot to put that inside div content. So div id equals content, and underneath here, div finish our div. Good. And we can go ahead and select this, and I'm just going to tab it out, put it hmm, where I think it should go. Reload this page, and you'll notice that it kind of moved the right one's closer to where I want it, but the left one's not. So I'm going to say padding to the right, maybe 15 pixels, padding to the left, about 20 pixels. So we reload that page. Okay, the right 